Basement system storm runner, our extreme weather specialist, Chris Higgins, who is on scene. Hey, Chris. Yeah, Glenn, we're on scene here in Granite City, and it really is amazing how the summer heat and summer humidity can be transformed so quickly into a monster huge summertime thunderstorms. They always produce tropical downpours, and sometimes they produce intense winds and sometimes large hail. Today, they had all three of those here in Granite City. A couple more feet, we, we, we both didn't been dead. Adolf Bueller and his girlfriend were watching TV in the front room of their home in the 2400 block of Logan when today's storm arrived with a bang. The rain and everything started coming through, and next thing I know, we were both buried in the ceiling. The huge tree that towered over this home for years crashed through the roof and now lies across what is left of their living room floor. Well, I looked over and she was buried. Oh, like I said, all you could see was her face. And I was pinned in the chair that got me out and finally pushed enough stuff off of her to get her out. Both suffered non-life-threatening injuries. The two have lived in the shadow of this tree for five years. Bueller says he's been afraid something like this might happen and has begged the city to take the tree down. It's down now. <laughs> so was the house. The storm hit other parts of the Metro East hard as well. Hail as big as baseball sent folks running for cover and left behind a trail of damage from Madison into St. Clair County. The west side of Belleville especially hard hit. This video sent to us by Heather Krause shows the hail splashing down into her backyard pool. The large hail denting cars, damaging roofs and shredding trees all over town. Weather watcher John Galls recently replaced his roof in West Belleville after being hit by a storm earlier this spring. I haven't had a chance to look. You know, I looked at my neighbor's hood. She has hail damage on her car, you know, cracking her windshield, stuff like that. So it was a pretty fair storm, in my opinion. Some may say fair storm is a bit of an understatement. Now, this part of the Metro East has hit, been hit multiple times, maybe as many as three times by strong to severe storms over the last couple of days, the last week or so. Last thing they want to hear about is more storms in the forecast for tomorrow. They are definitely suffering storm fatigue here. They just assume those storms go somewhere else. Reporting live with the Woods Basement System Storm Runner, I'm Extreme Weather Specialist Chris Higgins.